So here we have an example of a calculation involving a back titration. So here I've got a solution of ammonium nitrate. Now ammonium is a very weak acid, and so we're not going to be able to titrate it directly with a base. We won't get a obvious enough equivalence point, an obvious enough equivalence point. So ammonium is very weak. So what we're going to do is we're going to do back titration. So I've got this solution of ammonium nitrate with an unknown concentration and I want to find out its concentration. So what I do is I pour 10 milliliters into this flask containing 50 mils of 0.6 molar sodium hydroxide. And I know that I know that this is in excess. Okay, I have a rough idea of the of the con concentration of ammonium nitrate from the beginning, and so uh, I'm, I'm I'm I've decided to use 50 mL of 0.6 mL sodium hydroxide with the knowledge that this is in excess. I know that this is in excess, and so the ammonium nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide until all the ammonium nitrate is gone and there's some sodium hydroxide remaining, and then. We t I titrated the resultant solution with 0.45 molar hydrochloric acid. So now I'm going to try and work out the, uh, the concentration of ammonium nitrate. So when I titrated the leftover sodium hydroxide with the hydrochloric acid, my average titer was 32.3 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So therefore, from there, we can work out the mole of hydrochloric acid that reacted. Okay, so using uh, standard concentration calculations, it's going to equal C times V. It's going to equal 0.45 times 0. Remember, we need to convert this to litres because the concentration is mole per litre. So 0 0.0323. So the mole of hydrochloric acid is 0 0.0145 and we know that we're going to use this calculation again in you know in this question so let's we'll write out all the decimal places to, to ensure that we don't you know have any errors as a result of rounding early on in the question so that's the number of mole of hydrochloric acid that we've got so now if we write out a chemical chemical equation we know that we've got sodium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to produce water and sodium chloride. And so we use the ratio, so this is already balanced in effect. It's a very simple equation. We don't actually need to do any balancing. Everything's present in one-to-one -one ratios. So what that tells us is that the mole of hydrochloric acid reacting in this titration is equal to the mole of sodium hydroxide reacting in this titration. So that means that the mole of sodium hydroxide in here is going to be the same as the mole of hydrochloric acid. So the mole of sodium hydroxide in this in this aliquot is going to be the same as the mole of hydrochloric acid that was in the average titer. So the mole of sodium hydroxide equal to the mole of hydrochloric acid is equal to 0 0.0145535 So now we know the mole of sodium hydroxide in this solution here. Now we need to work out the mole of sodium hydroxide that we started with. So we do that here and we know that, again, just like with this hydrochloric acid up here, the number of moles is equal to C times V. So, times V, so that's equal to 0 0.6. Again, convert this to litres, times 0 0.050. That gives us 0 0.6. Zero, 
mole. So that's the mole of sodium hydroxide that we started with. That's the mole that we ended up with following the reaction between the ammonium nitrate and the sodium hydroxide. So to find out the amount of sodium hydroxide that did react, we find the difference between these two. So if we go up here, we got the mole that reacted. It's equal to minus 0 0.014535. So if we put that into our calculator, we get 0 0.055. Or if we we're going to write that out in full, so that's, this is this is the rounded figure, okay? We've kept the uh, we've kept the full figure in our calculator. So just the same way we wrote out the full the full answer here and here, I've I've just rounded the the answer here, but we are uh, we keep the full number in our calculator. So that's the number of mole of sodium hydroxide. So I should have written in brackets there. However, I'm just just to ensure that we know what we're talking about, I'll just label it. Okay, so that's the mole of sodium hydroxide that reacted in this reaction here. So now if we write another chemical equation. So lots of stoichiometry involved in back titration questions. So if we write another chemical equation, we have ammonium nitrate. Actually, we'll just write an ionic equation here. So we know that obviously in this reaction, we're going to have the ammonium reacting with the hydroxide ions, and we're going to have sodium combining with the nitrate ions to form sodium nitrate. So that's pretty boring. They're spectator ions in this in this uh, reaction. So we'll just do it, the ionic equation. So I've got ammonium ions reacting with hydroxide ions. And we know that definitions of an acid base, a base is a proton acceptor, a acid is a donut, a proton donor. And so if we subtract a proton from here and add it to here, we end up with ammonia. <coughs> and water. So again, this is in a one-to-one -one ratio, which is very helpful. So we know that the mole of ammonium that reacted in this situation in this reaction is the same as the mole of hydroxide that reacted. So here's the mole of hydroxide that reacted. So mole of ammonium is going to be the same again. So that's equal to the mole that reacted of hydroxide. And so we know the number of mole of sodium hydroxide that reacted. So, and that because sodium hydroxide contains one hydroxide for every sodium, it's a one to one ratio. So if we have 0 0.0155 mole of sodium hydroxide, we also have 0 0.0155 mole of hydroxide and therefore we have 0.0155 mole of ammonium ions. And by the same logic if we have 0.0155 mole of ammonium ions then we have 0.0155 mole of ammonium nitrate in this 10 mils that we used here. So if we want to find the concentration so we'll just make some room. So we've done with this, we've, we've dealt with this, we don't actually need this information anymore. So the concentration of ammonium nitrate in this solution up here, which is really what we set out looking for, is going to be given as usual by N over V. And we know that the mole of ammonium nitrate is equal to the mole of ammonium. So if we write that down here. So this is equal to, now remember I'm writing out 0.0155 mole here, but we're using the full value. We've kept the full, the full unrounded figure in our calculator from earlier. So we're using the full number when we do this calculation. We divide that by the volume, 10 millilitres, also known as 0 
0.010 litres. And that gives us a final concentration of 1.55 moles per litre. So that's our final answer. So we've uh, we've reacted with our ammonium nitrate with with excess sodium hydroxide. We've titrated the leftover sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid, and that's allowed us to find out the amount of sodium hydroxide that was left over. And we've combined that with our knowledge of the amount of sodium hydroxide that we started with to figure out the change. And that change allowed us also to figure out the amount of ammonium nitrate that reacted here. Okay, so it's kind of a, th a three-step process. We we add it here, we let this react. We tit we titrate the leftovers with uh, with a strong acid, and we use the data, we use the change in the sodium hydroxide data to find out the amount of ammonium nitrate that we had in this solution here, or in this 10 milliliter sample. And so the concentration of the 10 milliliter sample is going to be the same as the concentration of the full solution. And so that is equal to 1.55 moles per liter.